today I have a review for you guys to watch and this is on the Revlon Balm Stains. The kissable balm stains, the ones without the um, the balm at the end. Originally Revlon came out with balm stains and it was like a stain on one end and a balm on the other end. I never tried those but I did get on the bandwagon with these and I'm just going to tell you this is going to be a positive review for the most part because I am really liking these. So I had been wanting to try these for a while ever since they first came out and then I finally got on the bandwagon and I purchased Sweetheart. Sweetheart is basically your classic hot... <laughs> Sweetheart is your basic hot pink... That's what it looks like on a swatch. So this was the first color I got because I'm trying to get more bold and daring with my lip colors because I don't have many bold lip colors in my collection. So I got this as my first one because I thought hot pink, that's fun for summer, and why not? You only live once. So I picked this one up at CVS and then Ulta was having a buy two get one free sale with Revlon products so I picked up these three beauties. Now this isn't going to be featured in the review because this is a lip gloss and it has nothing to do with these, but this is in strawberry and I just think it's such a pretty color. I'll swatch that just so you can see what it looks like but the wand's pretty cool. So strawberry is kind of that redder looking color. Anyways, so the other two products I got were two more Kissable Balm Stains by Revlon. So this time I knew I wanted to get kind of a neutral shade, so I got Honey, and that's on my lips right now. That's what that looks like. That one right there. So this is kind of a dusty rose neutral. I didn't want the one that is a real neutral because I have a couple neutral lipsticks that work just fine, so I wanted kind of a pink neutral. So I have it on right now with no more gloss or no lipstick on or below it. Um, it's just this lip stain and I think it does a real good job of staining your lips as well as giving a little glossy shine. And the third and last color I have is Rendezvous. And it is just your classic bright orange. So that's it right there. The thing about this color is I feel like the packaging and the actual stain itself in the packaging look brighter than when it actually goes on your lips. To me, it's actually kind of a corally orange when it's on my lips. I was kind of surprised when it wasn't as bright as I thought it would be. Um, this is kind of just like the Revlon Lip Butters. Some are more pigmented than others. Um, I will vouch for all these are a pretty good match to the shade in the tube. However, this one was just not as bright as I imagined it to be. I still like it because, yeah, I want to be daring, but I also don't want to look crazy. And another thing that is very similar to the Lip Butters is you can build these up on your lips. You can keep applying and the color will build up to a more intense shade. By the way, if you want to see my review on the Revlon Lip Butters, I'll put a link in the description box for you. But I still really like this color. I wore it one day and actually because it was a little faded and it wasn't as bright as I thought it would be, it went really well with the look that day. So basically there's all the swatches again. Just ignore strawberry over here. That's a lip gloss. But these other three are the Kissable Balm Stains. Another thing that is very similar to the lip butters is that these warm up when you're applying them on your lips, so they'll get a little softer, not quite as soft as the lip butters because it's even in the name, that it's buttery. So these don't get quite as soft, but they soften up when you are applying them on your lips, so it kind of makes it a little easier. So now we're going to do like everyone else in a video does. You think you're going to get that much in the tube, don't you? Well, let's roll it up all the way and see exactly how much you're actually getting. that's it. <laughs> so you're getting this much product, which is basically like half the tubing. So I mean, of course, that happens in a lot of products. I personally think these will last a good amount of time, even though it's not the whole tube. These do have a slight minty scent and tingle to them. I was kind of worried when I was trying these because I do not like minty tingle on my lips. I don't like it at all because it just burns and it feels bad and I hate it. But when I tried this, I was like, oh, there's the mintiness and then it kind of just went away after a minute. It goes away real quick and it's not nearly as intense as like 
um, a lip plumper would be, which are usually cinnamon or minty. So if you're having the same worries I did, don't be worried because it goes away after a minute and it's not as intense as you think it would be. The way I like to apply these is I like to actually use the tip as a lip liner and line my lips and then I like to use the whole like side of the crayon and put it on my lips. I actually applied this in my past tutorial which is this look right here for back to school and I'll put a link for that in the description box as well but it's the video right before this one and um, so if you want to see how they apply I actually do it in that video but I mean back to the length of the crayon it basically does look like a jumbo crayon I mean that's pretty fun so it twists up you don't have to get some crazy huge sharpener you don't have to worry about that and investing some $15 huge sharpener no it just twists up it's so easy to use I mean this is great for a beginner and this is great for long-lasting I think honestly okay the shine goes away after maybe an hour or two tops you know so if you want to keep shine keep a lip gloss on you the stain however it does stain pretty well for as long as you want I mean for the length of times I've been wearing it until I shower and take off my makeup and all that it has stained pretty well the only complaint I have is I have this little like kind of crease or something in the middle of my bottom lip and lipsticks lip gloss lip stains they all seem to settle there you know one way or another sometime during the day and I have noticed that this does the same thing and that kind of made me upset because I thought okay it's a stain it's not gonna do that it's not gonna settle it's just gonna be evenly on the lips and it's gonna look good but it did settle a little bit but is not nearly as um, as noticeable as like a lipstick settling so it is pretty good I do recommend these especially if it's your first stain I have not tried the high-end stains like Clinique and all that they look basically the same in the packaging and the little you know applicator crayon however they're a lot more expensive but I can say to the people who have tried more expensive ones I hear these are actually comparable if not better so I really recommend these these range from like eight to ten dollars around there depending on where you get them you can get them at CVS, Walgreens, Ulta, Walmart, basically anywhere Revlon is sold but look out for some BOGO deals like buy one get one or buy two get one buy one get one half off those kind of things because that's what I like to do so I can get more for my money so that's my review I really do like these besides the little settling and maybe the gloss could stay a little longer I think these are really good products and for a stain it really holds up to what it's saying so I hope that review was helpful for you guys and it maybe helped you in your quest to purchase these or decide whether you want to or not and uh, thank you so much for watching as always I really appreciate the support and I will see you in my next video guys bye